Welcome to Data Arbitrage. In this video, we're going to learn how to check the progress of scans and troubleshoot any issues. Once your scans are started, you can scroll down here to the Search Manager. On the Search Manager page, you'll be able to see behind the scenes of the scans to understand why products are or are not being added to your view data. To begin, at the top, you'll see the tabs for queued, completed, saved, scheduled, and search history. When scans are actively running, you'll find them in the queued section. With a paid subscription, you can have up to seven scans running simultaneously and up to 20 scans total in the queue. On a trial period, you are limited to three scans total in the queue. Once a scan is done, it will move to the completed section. Scans will remain in the completed section until the products from that scan are removed from view data. Once there are no products from that scan in the view data, the scans will move from completed to search history. Scans showing in search history will have no results in your view data. Scans with results are either in the queued or the completed tab. When a scan is queued or complete, you can also save the scan. Once a scan is saved, you can go to the saved tab and choose to auto run on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. Once a scan is scheduled, you can go to the scheduled tab to review the scheduled scans. Now we're going to come back and visit the queued section where we can see the type of search that is running. Over here, you can see the source site and which marketplace you are trying to sell on. One of the many nice features of TA is that it will do currency conversions for you as well. Over here on the side, you can move scans up and down in the queue if you want to prioritize one scan over another. Over here, you'll see the time added to the page and the number of scan minutes used, as well as the status of your scan. Here you'll see the date the search was started and which domain is being scanned. If you named an easy book list before starting the scan, you'd see the name of the easy book list here. Next up is the category that's being scanned, the row, and the number of products, or the product that the scan is on. Then you'll have a brief overview of the filters that were used. This is a great place to check and make sure that the filters are set as you would like them to be. And if not, I'll show you in a moment how to modify those and rerun the scan. Next, we're going to come down to Products Checked and Products Added. A clarification on this is that Products Checked does not mean the total of products that have been scanned. Products Checked shows the number of products that have matches that have been found. Products Added is the number of products that will be in your view data after your filters have been applied. Next, we're going to scroll down to see Modify. Modify is where you can pause, stop, edit and rerun, or update scan filters. So if you see anything that you'd like to change of your scan, you can certainly hop over here, edit and rerun. Under results, you can go to the view data directly from this page. You can also download all the results and take a look. Then there's the watch logs, which we'll come back to in just a moment. Over here, you can delete all, which will delete the scan in Search Manager, as well as the results. You can also save a search from here, which you'll then find under the Save Search tab, as we mentioned earlier. The key thing to look at on this page is the watch logs. The watch logs gives the behind-the-scenes footage of what is happening with your scan. This is really important so you can be informed about how your scan is running and why results are or are not being added. When you click watch log, you can see why something is being skipped. It will show you whether there's a profit filter, whether it's match quality, whether it's been added, or whether it's no price found. Also note that if your log ever says something like no products found over and over and over with no other data, be sure to reach out to support so we can check if there's an issue with the domain. We do our best to find those issues, but sometimes source sites make changes to their websites and you may find them before we do. So be sure to reach out to us at support at tactilarbitrage.com if you have any questions and we'd be happy to help at any time. That wraps up our tour of the search manager page where you can manage your scans and understand where your results are coming from. Next up, we'll see you in the view data.